white men from the north and the white men of Mexico have drawn a line across the middle of the land that feeds us. We cannot go south to eat of the mezcal, nor north to eat of the piñon. The hunger wolf chews on our strength. Soon the warriors will be too weak to fight. Then the white man will thrust us away from the earth, and only the empty sky will know the voices of the mezcaleros. behind you, you'll see it in self-defense. That's right, man. They drew on him. Ah, it looks that way. You're clean as far as the law goes, Sam. But you're leaving Spanish boot. I'd like to put it up with the good citizens here. Well, you're a fast talker, Sam, but the town can't afford to have you around. You win too often. I never heard that was a crime. We won't go into that. But there's one thing, though. You're leaving town. That's all right with me. There's no room for a man of my capacities in Spanish boot. You're going to be mighty lonesome, Joe. You won't be missed. Maybe not, but just the same, you're going to be mighty lonesome. Are you talking about Sally? I was just saying you'd be lonesome. Just the same, I want you out of here by noon. Good morning, Reverend. It is a good morning, Joe. You've done a fine day's work before breakfast. Uh, wait a minute. Look, Reverend, I got a fire to attend. You're mayor as well as blacksmith here, madam. Reverend, you Welsh are funny people. Can't you leave well enough alone? I got rid of one bad element. That's a start. Don't you want a good town? Then you've got to prune the sick branches. Maybe you're right, Reverend. Let's go. There's no place for a dance hall in this hard-working town. The school and the new road could better use the money the young men waste on dancing. <laughs> For us, the laughing woman, whose steps take hold on misery, whose feet lead down to death. I expect you won't see Mrs. Callis, Reverend. <laughs> I know what you want. The silver mine's doing pretty good. There aren't any bad Indians around. The town's getting rich. Time to reform, throw the rascals out. Woman, you... Gentlemen, I'm way ahead of you. Make me an offer on this joint, and I'll take the girls to a real live town. Woman, thy name is Babylon, an abomination. Don't call me names. Just make an offer on the building. And remember, I won't take a loss. You know, Franks, this wouldn't be a bad side for a dry goods and ocean shop. 
Just knock out a couple of display windows through the wall, widen the door, and set up a cash box. I've thought of it. When you make up your minds, let me know. I'll take the girls to Silver Springs. Okay, you're leaving town, Sam Slick. Maybe so. But my name is Leeds. My friends call me that. I'd always counted you a friend. Sure, Leeds. Sure. Good morning, Sam Slick. <laughs> my name is Leeds. My friends call me so. I never thought of myself as your friend. What do you have for breakfast? You know. I'll get it. Wait a minute, Sammy. I can feed later. I'm, uh, leaving Spanish Booth. I heard about the shooting. Well, there are a lot of other towns. Some are exciting, some are not. We'll try to hit the ones that are, if you'll come with me. We've had a lot of fun, Sally, since I've been here. We've had a lot of fun. Well. <laughs> Sam Slick, you know exactly how I feel about you. You're the most excitement, the most anything I ever had. But I want more than that. If you mean what I think you mean, the Reverend Griffin would say the words before we leave town. That wouldn't change things, son. I'm thinking about the roses. You know, I'm probably the only girl in the world that ever had a man send 200 miles for roses for a birthday. Pretty wonderful to think about. But how did you get the money, Sam? Well, from Roy Warren playing Marty. It was on the up and up. Roy didn't think so. You played with him again last night. Now he's dead. You heard he drew first. That's got nothing to do with you and me, Sally. It's got everything to do with us. They're kicking you out of Spanish boot. They'll kick you out of the next town. I want no part of it. Some men are, are makers. They've got to sweat for what they want. I'm a taker. I've got to be one. You could be good and honest. I saw my father work his heart out on a lathe in Bridgeport. He died young. He died broke. He was an honest man. I never want to be one. I'm just honest enough to tell you that, Sally, and still ask you to come with me. You'll have to go without me, Sam. Maybe I'm selfish. All I want's what every woman wants. A home, a place in the town where she lives, and an honest husband. Yeah, it all adds up kind of dull and tame, like Joe Madden. Oh, don't be mad, stupid. I'm not talking about Joe or anybody else. I'm talking about how I feel. Can't you understand that? Yeah, I'm beginning to understand a lot of things. I didn't see how the cards were stacked. It seems Joe Madden has a lot more reason for getting rid of me than I thought. I'll stick around a while. Ah, it's healthy a borough cult as I ever did see, Chacho. He runs so much, he jumps so much, maybe he's nervous, maybe. <laughs> ah, that's a healthy disease, a good disease. Ah, a few years will cure him. Would you say it was noon, Chacho? The sun is straight up. Noon, Sam. I own a watch, but I've changed my mind. I think I'll stay in Spanish Booth. I don't remember we gave you any choice. You haven't any charges against me that'll hold up in court? My decision is you're no good for this town. May not be strictly legal. But it's gonna stand. It's a convenient decision. It leaves you a nice clear field with Sally. It's just the kind of a decision a pious mouthed hypocrite would make. I said you were leaving. Drop it! Get up and get out. Look, Sam, this isn't between you and me. It has nothing to do with Sally. You're going just like Betty and her girls because you're no good for the town. And the town has no use for you. You wouldn't send me out without my gun. The road to Silver Springs is safe enough. The only place that isn't safe for you is Spanish Boot. Now, if you can hurry up and catch the girls. There'll be good company for you on the road.
So themselves, the hearts were bad. They didn't come hollering or whooping. You, you wandered down at the sand. Sure. You gotta wander down. Sure, I'll want them. Set for them. Pedro Peter. Pedro Peter here is a scallop from Fort Cook. Tell him, where are all the mescaleros? 
Two days now, since troops chased Victorio and all Mescalero fighting men across border to Mexico. You help fight them? That's the truth, Sam. There isn't a war party this side of the border big enough to butcher a sheep. Did you really see any Indians? Well, did you? Yes. Why should I lie to you, Joe? That I wouldn't know. For whatever the reason, you're not going to get away with it. Sally, tell these people whatever else I do, I don't lie. Well, tell them. I'm not lying. The Indians killed Betty and her girls. There must have been an awful lot of Indians to scare you back into town. But we don't want you here. I'm not going out again. These good citizens will help you on your way. Throw him out! Throw him out! Ride him out on the rail! Yeah! Yeah! I guess you were right. When this is over, when this is over, you're leaving town. <laughs> I've heard all the arguments, and I still say we ought to send a messenger to the fort. The mayor has told you why he feels it isn't worth the risk. Best to risk one man than to risk the whole town. Well, since most of you are in favor of sending word. Who would like to take a little ride? I'll take that little ride. You're kind of young, aren't you? A kid can ride. How do you know? I ought to know. I'm his pa. There may be a big war party out there. Let me ride my own horse, and there's not an Indian pony to leave and smell his dust. <laughs> hmm. You needn't hurry. Sam, about what happened in front of the church, I'm sorry, but I couldn't say anything. I suppose not. I'd like to tell you that deep in here I do believe you. But when you tell me to say that you don't lie, I couldn't. What's in here isn't proof. That's all right. I was trying to explain that... All right, I just said you were sorry. I want you to understand. Sure, I understand. You'd like me to be a good man like Joe. I want you to be a good man like the best of Sam Leeds. The Sam Leeds that came back to warn the town and threw him out. Well, why do we have to talk about all this? I'm back, we're here. Oh, you won't listen. Go on, get out. I've got a lock up. Where's he going? To the fort. Do you think the Cajun make it? Maybe. Maybe not. You talk well. Maybe you'll talk to the mayor. What about? The Lieutenant Glidden told me to wait for him. Tomorrow he comes here. Why send the boy? There's no sense my talking to the mayor. You are a white man. There are white men that other white people don't believe. What boy were you talking about? Bert Kean. The scout felt he might get killed? That's roughly it. And you wouldn't even try to talk to Joe? He wouldn't believe me. Why should he? Even you wouldn't tell them I was truthful. Good luck, Bert. You want to say something to Bert? No, nothing. He's a good writer. He'll make it. Oh, uh, could I walk home with you, Sally? Sure. I'm sorry Sam had to come back. I hoped he went to Silver Springs and missed me, really missed me, to get a job and make good and send for me. That can still happen, Sally. Well, I thought maybe he'd changed when he fought his way back to town, but he hasn't. He's still Sam. And I'm still me, and I feel just the same way about him. What'll I do, Joe? I can't tell you. I was hoping Sam would stay away. It's kind of a pity that I only like bad men and want to make them good. Shouldn't he be 
back by now. Don't worry about your boy, Mrs. Keon. He's on a good horse and he's a smart lad. Yes. Bert's too smart a boy to be caught by no account Indians. Caramba, Josura, ¿qué pasa? the water. You see, the mescaleros put the dead boy in the well. Who knows? Maybe we'll bring the trees back to life. Where they serve. Are you thirsty? But it is the law of the Apache. No touch the dead. No touch the things that touch the dead. Come on in, I'll get you beer. White men have law. No beer. No whiskey for Indians. That law doesn't obtain. Now you can't get drinking water, come on. against the law to sell or give liquor to an Indian. But you're selling it to me. Go on, I just had one a little while ago. Those are too high. You can't fire out, but they can scale the walls. And there are too many windows, and too few of us. There's no food, no water, no bandages. And the fighting men, the braves of the Mescalero, they'll come through the windows. Pedro Peter, what time is it? Big stick and the little stick point to the west. Quarter to nine. Let's use our belts, man. Here's mine. I always felt it's a good American custom wearing two belts one for your pants, one for your pistol. I need a belt. You wear no pants. All right. You're pretty light. Scramble up here while we hold it. It works pretty good. Careful, Roy. music. It's the vile music of the heathen. Our guests seem to be having a ball outside. You've had enough. Take a spell. Hey, water? Not a drop. Oh, not really thirsty. It's just the music. You might call it that. There's a music of drinking. The tune for the tizzling, the Apache whiskey that makes them brave. I've heard of it. You'll know more about it after tonight. You didn't kill Victoria. When that music changes, watch the windows. You see, they don't drink to get drunk. Their drinking is like praying. And then they kill. He's telling me about the Indians. I them. I know that cursed belief. That a thousand dead men will rise to take the place of those that die. Excuse to kill. Oh, no, no, you don't know that. 
Apaches are a dying race. Their women are bare. There are no children in their hellguns. And now Victoria has given them hope. Songs to sing. Music to dance to and a belief that if they kill and die, they can have a thousand sons. Warrior sons to fight us. Ghost warriors. The young Apaches bring to this wind for not to feel pain. Not the pain of a wound. Not even the pain of dying. They will come to kill you and to die. I better tell Joe Madden. Joe. The uh, lieutenant says this is some kind of religious town for it. They're trying to get themselves killed. Just a bleed ghost story or something like that. I've heard about it. Yeah, we've got to listen to the music. When it changes, that's when they come through the windows. I better tell the rest. Take my place. I'll take your place, but I don't want you to take mine. Let's forget about that for now. All right, for now. Was a friend of the army talk with the forked tongue of a liar. I was words like ashes that the wind could blow them away. I put my hand on the white man's book. I fight for the white man. What is an oath to an Indian? A great deal more than the most white man. What's going on, Sam? What does the music mean? It's going to be a long night. When things start, you better get the kids away from the window. And take care of yourself, Sally. You're the last one I want anything to happen to. <laughs> Except myself. That's my girl. That's it. That's it. 